Sophie, welcome back to Lanzarote. Uh, first question up, did you bring the clouds? <laughs> I was here first. It was sunny when I came, so uh, you arrived uh, yesterday or two days ago, so I think you brought it. Now, it's good to be uh, back here, and you got the whole team with you. There has been a lot of teams out there, but yours seems to be the most consistent. You've been around since 2010. What makes you a place different to other teams that have only lasted a couple of years? I think we started really small, um, just with one one guy, Bruno, and then I was the second athlete. So, yeah, we started so small and we grew every year. Um, every year there were other uh, athletes coming, um, but also the the team, the staff around became bigger and bigger. And, uh, yeah, I think um, Uplay started by themselves, but Bart Verhagen, that's the owner of Uplay, he always had the idea of, um, uh, yeah, he had to, f he wanted to find other companies to join him. Um, and I think the main idea of Bart is that he, he will step away from the team and he wants other companies to, uh, yeah, to spend some money in the team and believe in the team and, and support the team. So, um, I think his philosophy is pretty good. He, he wants to start it. He wants to, uh, put his shoulders underneath and then finding other companies to make it sustainable. You were very successful beforehand on the short distance as well, but you've been very consistent since you joined the team. Um, a lot of 70.3 wins, Ironman win in there and so on. But let's look at last season. When we look at it, you, you got a win there and uh, you got a lot of second places. Does it make it a good season or is it a little bit with a sad eye that you had a couple of second places there? I started the season with a win. It was an unexpected win. Uh, the, day, the day before the race, I said, I don't have any chance, 0% chance that I'm going to win this race. And I had the best day of the whole season. It gave me some confidence. And then there were many second places, you're right. Um, but if I look at the uh, winners of these races, I don't have to be sad. I was second behind Daniela Reef. Um, I was second in Brazil uh, behind Sara Gross. So I think it was a good season. I'm happy that I was so consistent and um, a second place is not too bad. <laughs> How is it with the own teammates? There were races like Mallorca, for example, where you had other girls from the team racing. Um, is there a competition in between you guys beforehand? When we were only Belgian people, I was racing a lot against Tina Deckers. She joined the team uh, for two or three years. So I was racing so many times against her, but I think it was fun to race against her. We were always together. We were roomies so many times and we were kind of friends. So yeah, in a race, you're not friends. That's obvious, but um, it was, yeah, it's fun to talk about the race afterwards. And when we pass each other, we, we said some words. Uh, last season, uh, I raced against Liz, but I don't think I raced against, uh, yeah, and Hella, I also raced, but not against Kareen. But it, it was only once that I raced against Liz and Hella, and it was not a, a different feeling, actually. Um, yeah, we only knew each other a short time. Um, but now it will be different, I think. I'm roomy with Liz now. Um, if I will race against her, maybe it's different, and we can be roomies before the race also, and it will be fun to talk afterwards. I don't know. Which of the three is your favorite part in this sport? Not your best, but your favorite. I think the run, uh, and yeah, and it's also my best. But I was never a swimmer. I only started doing triathlon the age of 25, so it's pretty late. And swimming asks a lot of technique, which I don't have. That's obvious. Um, I'm working on it though, so <laughs> I will get there. <laughs> I never swam as a child, just playing around a bit. Um, so I don't feel the water like other people who start swimming at a really early age. Anything you can tell us about the race season already? Uh, I'm focusing on two Ironman. The first one will be in May, Ironman Texas. And the second one uh, in August, Ironman Copenhagen. I hope I can do this um, two races really well and I can have enough points for Kona again. Um, I, want to be, I want to go to Hawaii. It will be my sixth time. The previous five times were not really well. Uh, not as good as I expected. Um, but I want to show the world and especially myself that I can race in Hawaii and I can be strong and good in Hawaii. Um, it's a little bit my black beast, um, but I want to beat this black beast and I, I, yeah, I want to do it really well now this year. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a lucky charm. You've done pretty well so far at the races that I announced. Yeah. So I'll try to be there in Kona yeah. and I would say let's do this again um, after the race then.